Welcome to this new series on Angular 2. I will start right from the basics and we will create a small application to add bookmarks and then we can share it with our friends. Now to use Angular 2 you can go to their website there is a get started link where you can use their package.json and you know just do npm install and you will get all the dependencies so i'm going to use angular cli instead of the you know get started package.json because i found quite a few interesting things in this project now although this is in beta but most of the things are working perfectly i have used it for now about a month or so and i generally didn't find too much problems using it so yeah, i definitely you know uh, use this as my default way few things like you know creating of a new project creating new components in the project are very easy and it gives you a very nicely defined folder structure plus one of the biggest advantages the build you know it gives you that additional support on you know creating the production uh, version of your application so that you can you know kind of uh, copy the distribution folder and put it on your server and yeah that's about it, it just the, your application will run just like that so yeah i'll be using this some very basic requirements so you need node obviously i'm using node version 5.0.0 maybe this is not the latest but yeah this uh, will serve the purpose and i have npm which is on version 3.5.3 okay you'll need to install angular cli as a global dependency so you know you just need to run npm install dash g which is the global and angular cli after that you can once you have you know that installed you can run commands like ng space g new uh, oh it's ng and then new let's call our project bookmarks okay so what it will do is it will create the basic boilerplate and it will start installing the packages so now because already it has created a folder let me go to the desktop you can see the bookmarks folder is already there and it has the basic folder structure so you know source is the place where we will be playing around inside this we have the index.html the app folder where all our code will go in and it has already created the app component um, you know shared everything okay and for development purpose I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio code you know I'm I was playing around with Atom, Sublime Text and Visual Studio code now you know Sublime seemed to be the most performance optimized editor for TypeScript but Visual Studio was giving me some additional you know, um, type hinting kind of things which uh, you know I liked and that's the reason I'm using it but yeah Sublime definitely was one of the most you know uh, easy uh, text editor for Angular 2 so yeah we can use both if you, know, you want to I'm going to use Visual Studio code uh, is it Visual Studio code right yeah so for this purpose so my npm dependencies are still you know getting downloaded so once it is done i'll show you how to run the application okay so we have all the packages installed if i go to the text editor you can see the entire node modules folder is ready with all the dependencies and so now if i go to the terminal inside the folder and i'll do ng serve okay there's a problem with the angular cli uh, package so yeah it's a known thing so i'll go inside the node modules angular cli and just do npm install i think for some reason their dependencies are not getting installed so let me pull those dependencies so once all the dependencies are re uh, no, downloaded we can go here sorry and let's try it again all right so as you can see it says serving on 
localhost 4200 port and let me go to chrome localhost and yes so our app is working it's the basic boilerplate which they provide and just to you know show you that yes this is the correct one what i can do is in my app component there will be a variable called app works so we will name it this is my bookmark application in angular 2 now few things which are automatically available is if you save it will reload and yeah your browser will refresh so as you can see the title has changed so yeah i think you know as a first step this is uh, the basic setup which we require to uh, bootstrap our angular application um, i hope you can follow it and in the next um, in a video i'll show you how to create individual components and you know interact with the application